All right, this is uh, uh, Pavoni uh, Electrical Wiring Part 2. Uh, we covered some elementary principles in uh, the first part of this, the video. But uh, now let's have some practical applications of the information. Let's say you just got a Pavoni, uh, came in a box in the, in the fray, you got it at a yard sale or whatever, you take the bottom off of it and uh, it not, doesn't look good. No wires, burnt wires. You want to check it out. You want to make sure it's safe to use. Well, we'll take our multi-tester and first thing, take a look at the element. Once again, these two poles here, that's the low watt element. The two poles here, they feed to the high watt element around the outside. So, we'll check to see. We go to our two posts and we have, there it goes up, we have, I have to make sure I stay on them. All right, nice and stable, good resistance on that one. And here's the other element. And it is climbing and stabilizes right there. Good resistance on that one. Now, one thing you, another thing you can do is you check to make sure that the element's not shorted. Uh, which we're going from the post of the terminal to the body. That's not a good sign. See what how should it read? It should read uh, no continuity at all. There should be no no current at all going between these points. So this this is a shorted element, which means that there is electrons that are flowing, or it goes from from here to here. So this one's going to require some work. This could be a simple matter of of this, this is missing uh, some of these ceramic posts. So it could be a simple matter of just doing some cleaning and replacing these with some, some new ceramic posts. But So, well, let's just say that it was good. Now we're going to proceed and do some wiring. The, the uh, uh, first thing that we're going to do is that we say, say you've got the, the oldest one. All it has is the Massimo Minimo switch and the element. So, once again, one switch. We start out, we draw our wiring diagram here, okay, our cord comes in, black goes to the to the uh, low wattage post, and our current would flow across here. We bridge these two together, either with a bar or a wire. This is the white, this is the black. Now, that's the low wattage circuit that works when you plug the machine in. Now, we come in with our Massimo Minimo switch. Uh, we go from here to one post, to the high wattage post, and then we have another circuit. Now you can see that you have both of them activated at the same time. Here's one circuit, here's the other circuit, low and high, both running at the same time. Well, now let's say you uh, don't want to plug and unplug, you got a drill handy, you drill a little hole in the side of it, and now you've, uh, just for clarity, let me start over again. Now we've got a two switch system, once again with the element. Small, the long end of the diamond. Instead of coming into this post here, we go to our on off switch. And we go from our on off switch to that same post. Now, Obviously, if you've been following the explanations, this is the white, this is the black. If you've been following the explanations here, then we'll wire into the, uh, with the high-low, one-two, maximo-minimo, whichever <coughs> that uh, you want to call it. Go to the same post. Electricity goes over here. Goes to the high post. Now, you have the same circuit as you had before with a single switch but you've run it through an on-off switch. And once again, as far as testing components, you can see that if you have a, your current switch on the machine, and you want to test to see if that switch is good, you basically go, there's no current flowing there, you have continuity there, so it's a good component. Now, as the years went by and more and more models of the the Pavoni were introduced, there was uh, different levels of complexity uh, that you went from two 
single pole, single throw switches. These are basically on and off. There's you know, just single on, single off with a single wire that went in. Various different uh, switches are used. This is from a, a pro, uh, professional model. Uh, this is the modern uh, Europicola that uses a pressure stat, which has five spades. This is the uh, switch. The, this was the last generation of the two-element uh, Pavoni uh, switch. As you can see, it has six terminals. Now, this is when things can get really confusing because how do we wire this one? Once again, our same th diagram. We're going to bring in our black wire. We are going to have a bridge between these two. The white wire is going to go out just as in all of these other examples. Now, let's look at this switch. We have six. We have two sides to it. We have three spades here and three spades here. Now, let's just say, say that it's, it's sitting this way. And, uh, well, actually, the way it sits in the machine is this way, so why not just do it that way? This will be our one, two. And this will be our on, off line. All right. Now the first thing we do is identify our terminals. Once again, use a multi-tester. We want to see which one of these terminals are active in the switch. This switch is now on. So we identify which terminals are the complete the circuit. It's these two terminals on the outside. And we just keep checking. Check all your spades to make sure that there's a no problem with the switch okay but this it's this first two so it's these two complete the circuit now so we'll hook our black wire up to this one here now how do we get the electricity down here we don't go straight from here because then we have no high low function so the way uh, it's done is that you run a bridge over to this line for the high low. Now, once again, let's. And look. the bridge is simply a wire that's it's connected. It's simply from one a wire to the other. with a with a spade terminal that slips on. All right. Now let's look at this. We have continuity on. I'm set on two. Let me set it on one. Okay. We have. No continuity there. We have continuity here when it's set on one. So these two complete the circuit when it's on low. We do this just exactly like we did before. We go to this one. All right, current flows here, goes out the end. Now, switch it over to two. Once again, check. We just assume that we have continuity. So for the high function, this switch closes over here, our wire goes to the high terminal once again. Now, as you can see, I'm about to run out of time, but would like to make the observation that what Pavoni did was in the early models that on low you had on one element and on high you had both elements in the circuit. Uh, when they went to this type of switch situation, you either have the low wattage or the high wattage, not both at the same time. And so it's, it's, it's quite a, it's a different situation, it's a different control function, but it's also part of why people like the, the really old ones, because high is a, is a, a higher wattage uh, than the, the Massimo is really Massimo on those ones. So anyway, uh, uh, use your, your paper, your pen, your multi-tester, uh, you should be able to rewire any uh, La Pavoni or Piccola machine that you would ever encounter. Logic it out. It's a thought process. Uh, the rest is just tinker toying it together with your wires and your fittings. Thank you very much.